Round two. Mike, I think this fight is settling into something of a quality and quantity rhythm again. I think if you're watching for the harder punches, I think you're watching Mary Jo Sanders, but I think if you're watching for more punches, you're watching Holly Holm. Holly Holm, that, that contained fury thus far, that was funny and interesting story when she landed this week. She watched the first fight for only the third time, and she actually had to turn the fight off during the flight because she, it was making her knees shake so bad, she said. Interesting that even knowing the outcome, she's that intense. Sanders now the more aggressive of the two now as we start round three. Home bullying her way in. Sanders right out. Good left hand there, but Sanders avoids it. And there's a push. Push back. Home is a lot stronger than she's given credit for, Mike. Those legs very powerful. Just drives her opponent right into the corner. Nothing fancy about her training. Trains with the MMA fighters. They say she'd fight barefoot if she could. No nonsense. You see how these bull rushes of hers would be hard to defend. And the left hand that just misses there on Mary Jo. Sanders planted a nice right hand in that exchange. Sanders now trying to corner and home deftly maneuvering around the ring. And that's one thing that Mary Jo Sanders cannot let Holly Holm do in this one. She's got to cut the ring off. She's got to anticipate the next move and step in front of her. Oh, there she goes. A little bit of a slip there by Holm. Some effective punches there, but I think it was more of a slip. Got the crowd excited. <laughs> well, and that will work in your favor. You're in the end of round three. Home um, again, just bullied Mary Jo into the corner. A bit of an elbow, I think, there. But three in the books. Mike, I'm giving that round to Mary Jo Sanders. It's a good round for Mary Jo Sanders, that round, Andre. She needed that. Mike, here we see an exchange between the fighters. There's Holly just working her way out. Here, we'll take a little look at it here. Put an uppercut. There's the slip. Good right hand there. These two are exchanging so quickly, Mike, it's hard to pick through. Now as we look in at Holly Holm corner. Jab and move out is the advice being given. Holm with still plenty of bounce on her step, Mike. She's waiting for the bell to ring. Doing a little boing boing. Sanders now trying to establish a jab here. Round number four. Scheduled for 10 for the Women's IBA Light Middleweight Championship. The showdown in Motown brought to you by Donna Frio Boxing. He's missing there with that right. Again, you're seeing some of the inevitable sloppiness when an orthodox meets a southpaw. It's going to lead to some ugly transitions, that's for sure. And Mike can sometimes lead to headbutts, too. We'd hate to see something like that mar this fight. A true women's super fight we're watching. Good combination there by Holly. How much, how much landed there. But Mike, in a fight like this where there's not much to pick through with the blazing hands of both fighters, its body language says it everything, and with Holly Holm coming forward, it might be swaying the judges to think that she's doing more than Mary Jo. That's a good point. I think if Mary Jo can flurry a little more, get the crowd going. You know, judges are human. Far be it for me to ever accuse a judge being swayed by the hometown reaction. <laughs> Mike, Mary Jo needs to, to stake out a claim to the center of the ring and make Holly Holm move around her. Right now, positionally, Holly Holm is controlling the ring. Exactly what Sanders cannot let her do. 
shot to the body. And Holly just skips right back into place. Nearing the end of round four. Oh, there's a good right hand there by Holly as she bolts Sanders into the corner. Will she have enough time as the round ends there as both fighters flurry? That was a good round by home. Interesting, Andre. And Holly Holmes says, that, you know, the only thing that scares Holly Holmes, it's not getting cut, it's not getting knocked out, it's not coming forward and getting, you know, caught with a shot. It's losing. Just got the heart of a champion, afraid to lose, and able to dig deep and bring up whatever's required to keep from making that happen. Well, thus far, do you think Mary Jo has done enough differently in this fight? Then in the first fight, Andre, do you think she's establishing what she needs to establish to get a different outcome? Mike, I think it's still up in the air. I think that she's letting Holly Holm control the ring, control the, uh, the territory. I think she needs to plant her feet in the center of the ring and positionally control this fight. Traditionally, Sanders has relied on volume punching, but Holm just simply will not let that happen. She's been most effective, Sanders, when she has thrown more than one punch, when she's been able to throw more than one punch. There's where Mary Jo's effective, when she comes forward, throwing the heavier punches. But see how Holm responds with those bull rushes and the flailing arms? Very hard to defend. Again, right forward by Holm, walking right through Sanders' punches. And I'm sure in her corner, Mary Jo's corner, I'm sure Jimmy Mallow is telling her next time she does that bull rush, step to the side, don't move backwards. Mary Jo is falling into that trap by moving directly straight backwards. She should step to the side every time Holm wants to do one of those right, mad right. rushes. That's a good point. Backing up against that bull rush, you'll end, you'll end up in one position and that's when you're back against the ropes. Both fighters missing. Home just backing away now, and then coming forward with more offense. They're just flailing away. Now Sanders coming out of that corner with conviction now as we near the end of round five. And home turns the corner on her again. We got a firefight, Mike. Right back in control, and there we go. Great action here, great action. And the crowd agrees. Not your typical girl fight. Let's take a look now at the closing moments of that round. Sorry, this is the midway point we're actually looking at here. As you can see, Mary Jo flurrying, and Holly Holm coming right forward. This guy directly forward. Now here we see the last closing seconds. Mary Jo wildly missing. Mike, the two camps disagreed strongly about the first fight and who should have won and what the scoring was. I'm finding this fight a hard one to score as well. I agree. Now the crowd trying to get behind Mary Jo. Detroit's own Mary Jo K.O. Sanders. They're just looking for their opening here. Both fighters a little bit more tentative here in round six. And to seal her way. Sanders still moving straight back, Mike. There's a good right hand by, her, by Sanders, snapping back home. And again, she comes right forward, though, Holly. But, she, but another good, solid overhand right by Mary Jo Sanders. Sanders and now it's home round. backing up. Sanders has put together a pretty good round here, Mike. But again, no, no fear in Holly home. Right directly, right back to the offensive. Right coming right forward again. Let's see if Sanders can catch her once more. 
Methodically stocking now. Wow, right hand, nothing being. Well, there's a good left hook, though, by Sanders. Mike, do you think Mary Jo Sanders has figured out, finally figured out an answer to Holly Holm? It looks like it. It looks like Holm, for the first time in the fight, is starting to question what she's doing in there a little bit. I think she's she's figured out the little counter left hook inside. Every time Holm comes in, Mary Jo is smacking her with a hook or an uppercut like that. Last closing seconds here of round six. And easily the best round of the fight for Mary Jo Sanders. Absolutely. Due to time constraints, we now join the current bout already in progress. Again, seven years difference between the two fighters. I don't know how much of an effect that has, but here, round eight. <laughs> 